Good evening, Council President Mancuso, members of City Council, and members of our wonderful Euclid community. I am pleased to present to you, in this time-honored tradition, the Euclid State of the City. 2020 was, like, was a year like no other. We've been forced to face adversity in the form of a worldwide pandemic, which affected how we do business as a community and how we live our daily lives. It's been difficult and trying and on so many levels, but today I wanna to tell you how we've adapted, adjusted, and I believe advanced over the year. We grew in new ways, learned lessons that made us stronger and set the stage for future success. I need to mention how very proud I am of our city employees. Despite the ever-changing restrictions placed upon them, they've worked diligently and provided inspiring service to our great community. The work they've done for the citizens and businesses of Euclid has been exemplary. And like you, I am certainly thankful for all of their efforts. As I've been reflecting on the last year and developing plans for 2021, one common theme kept coming back to me. You may be tired of hearing it, but I think it's appropriate like never before. In this together, whether we're talking about COVID-19, civil unrest, the business climate, our neighborhoods, our community identity and vision, we are indeed in this together. It is through our concern for each other and by working together that we are able to still accomplish much and grow as a community. I'd like to share some highlights. COVID-19 of course dominated much of the year. We were able to overcome the challenges thanks to the leadership of my team of directors and chiefs who met regularly to develop plans and thanks to the great resiliency of our employees who were able to respond in new ways and continue serving our residents. We were grateful to receive additional funding to support our COVID-19 response. We were able to dedicate those funds to support our first responders, provide PPE, upgrade our technology, and make necessary building improvements. We were able to assist the community in important ways such as rent and mortgage assistance, food assistance, and direct small business assistance. The city and community partners helped bring COVID-19 testing to the city and have supported the vaccination effort through the County Board of Health. Our staff have been resilient, creative, and steadfast in their commitment to continuing to do what we do best, providing important services our residents depend on. We also saw businesses, residents, and community organizations come forward to help the community, instituting safety protocols, sharing PPE, providing donations, and sending messages of hope. Most importantly, our residents have done a great job following guidelines, wearing masks, staying home, and maintaining social distance. And we thank you. City Council transitioned to virtual meetings. We held virtual town hall meetings, virtual ward meetings, and worked with our Joint Veterans Council to hold Memorial Day and Veterans Day tributes virtually. Zoom also helped to connect us on a broader level like never before. I was able to join Zoom calls with the governor's office, the White House, and mayors across the state, hospital and health leaders, and more, helping with the sharing of information, advocacy for cities, and forming new connections. As we continue to battle this virus, I know we will get through it as we are in this together. While we all face challenges, our safety forces were truly on the front line. Across the country, 2020 brought much attention to social justice and police reform. I am proud that the Euclid Police Department, under the leadership of Chief Scott Meyer, has been making changes for the last several years and has made progress. The Euclid Police Department participated in local social justice events, joining our faith leaders in Zoom discussions and their rally for change, while always working to build strong community partnerships. Some of the highlights of 2020 in this regard include the creation of the Community Services Division, achieving the level two certification of the Ohio Police Collaborative, changes in policy and procedure, and beginning to work with a nationally recognized company, Lexapol, to fully update department policies, all while continuing the exploration of the use of technology to improve our safety and building trust. Community engagement, outreach, and support remained a priority and community policing unit developed alternative community engagement events 
using social media, including Coffee with the Cop Live, Books with Badges, and Online Safety Town, and provided many personal interactions like passing out PPE to residents, assisting with meals and food giveaways, passing out school supplies, and holiday gifts. Each of these interactions provide the Euclid Police Department with the opportunity to develop positive relationships, provide service, and build trust throughout the community. A resident from Beverly Hills Drive shared this in a letter to Chief Meyer. Chief Meyer, with all the uncertainty going on in the world and the bad rap police officers often receive, I want to write a thank you note praising the Euclid Police. The combined efforts of the officers on call that evening were fabulous. The events that unfolded could have ended in a much different scenario if it wasn't for Officer Schwed. He calmed our fears of all the what ifs we played in our head. Please thank him and everyone else that were involved that morning. My words do not do justice in praising that officer. Similarly, a resident from Farrington Avenue shared, officer was very nice, accommodating and exhibited genuine concern for our well-being. The situation was stressful enough. So having an officer who made the experience as comfortable as possible was a blessing. So often we hear negativity in regards to the police which is why I had to speak up for this young man who performed his job in a positive manner. We cannot thank him enough. While those are just two examples, many residents are always reaching out saying how grateful they are for the wonderful work of our Euclid Police Department. While we saw an increase in some offenses, we saw a reduction in others. One thing for sure, the men and women of the Euclid Police Department work incredibly hard to protect and serve our community, responding this year to nearly 50,000 calls for service throughout the year. COVID has compounded an already difficult situation, impacting the jail, the court, and police activity. While we share your concern about growing crime we see that we see across the country, one fact speaks volumes of the work of the Euclid Police Department is their solve rate for homicides. Since 2016, Euclid Police Department has an 88% solve rate, which is much higher than the national rate. To combat an increase in crimes that involve guns, the Euclid Police Department has applied and was awarded a COPS grant, which will enable us to hire three police officers dedicated to providing targeted community response to gun incidents in the neighborhoods. We are appreciative of the partnerships with other communities and law enforcement agencies that assist through special details and targeted response. Adequate staffing is critical and becoming increasingly difficult. In 2020, we hired four new officers and rehired one who had left. We are working with the Civil Service Commission to explore new ways to address the difficulties with hiring while maintaining our commitment to increasing the diversity and attracting the best qualified candidates. Thanks to the Civil Service Commission, the support of City Council, and the hard work of the Police Administration, I look forward to swearing in four new officers on February 8th, and then an additional four or five later in the year. Thank you to the Police Department. As we all know, we are in this together. The Youth of Fire Department responded to a record 11,624 calls for service in 2020. This represents a 31% increase over the last five years. The Euclid Fire Department responds to all hazards and 85% of their calls are emergency medical service related. When the COVID-19 pandemic invaded our lives in early 2020, the Euclid Fire Department immediately engaged with our public safety partners to develop a plan for protecting our community and our first responders. Guidelines from the Center for Disease Control, the Ohio Department of Health, and the Cuyahoga County Board of Health were created and distributed. The Euclid Fire Department has used several hundred thousand dollars of CARES Act funding to provide the safest delivery of fire and emergency services. Safe, reliable, modern apparatus and equipment are necessary for our city. The Euclid Fire Department took delivery of a new ambulance in March and just last week added another ambulance thanks to CARES funds. Maintaining adequate staffing is also critical for the Euclid Fire Department. The Euclid Fire Department was awarded over $1.8 million in federal funding to hire six new firefighter paramedics 
through this grant program. The amount will cover a period of three years and provide funds for the salaries and benefits. The award will ensure that our total department strength will be at least 83 members through March of 2024. This will allow us to better manage increased call volume and continue to provide critical fire and emergency medical service to our community. In an attempt to expand the diversity within the Euclid Fire Department and attract the highest quality candidates, the Euclid Fire Department participated in its first ever regional entrance exam. 145 applicants took the written examination and created the largest pool of candidates that the Euclid Fire Department has seen in nearly 25 years. We look forward to hiring in March. We are all tremendously grateful for our first responders. They are there when we need them and provide excellent service to our community. They always know the importance of responding to our business community as well. And recently, Amazon reached out to share their appreciation in an email that read in part, both departments have helped us numerous times when we have needed it most. We would like to show our appreciation to all the first responders that respond to our site on almost a regular basis, all ranging from physical altercations up to cardiac arrest. Thank you for all that you and your departments do for us at CLE 3. When it comes to safety, we are indeed in this together. And I thank our safety forces for doing their part. In the first full year in Euclid, Amazon experienced tremendous tremendous growth in 2020, jumping up to one of our top employers. Despite the pandemic, we continue to see growth in our business sector. Bluestone Business Park saw major activity with the opening of Lincoln Electric Additive Solutions, the opening of Consolidated Precision Products, and Cleveland Clinic leasing the newly completed spec building. Ray Fogg has also begun their sixth building to be completed and available in 2021. BWXT completed their first edition and broke ground on another multi-million dollar edition. Hosemaster expansion was completed and we welcome new businesses, including Intellitronics, Argo Metals, smaller businesses such as Pulp, Renew Flooring, That Breakfast Place, Nurturing Excellence, Early Childhood Options, Dollar General on Euclid Avenue, Zanzibar on East 200th Street, Eagle Loans and Bank of America. National Strategic Group, who I introduced you to last year in my state of the city, after purchasing the Omni Building on Euclid Avenue to expand their digital marketing firm, provided an update as they started their fourth quarter. Since the start of the pandemic, National Strategic has added 11 new jobs in Euclid for a total payroll increase of about $520,000. Our company is continuing with double digit growth and will certainly have another record year. We are looking forward to add to the team before the end of the quarter. Not bad for a pandemic year. We really do think that the additional security that Euclid support has provided has allowed us to be more aggressive and has been a contributor to our growth. We wish them continued growth and success. On the planning and community development side, we were working with strategy design partners to explore ways to build additional community and economic development capacity, and the potential of a CDC. Work continued on the Downtown Business Improvement District, but was delayed due to COVID. We were able to work with neighboring Lake County, Lakefront cities to create a Lakefront Special Improvement District that will provide an additional tool to assist individual homeowners with erosion control. As we start 2021, we are engaged in multi-department efforts to plan for East 185th Street, the top of the tank, and a citywide parks and playground plan. Euclid's signature waterfront improvement plan continued to move forward and gained much attention from across the region. 2020 saw the completion of phase one and the beginning construction of phase two, which will complete the three quarter mile multi-purpose trail, erosion control, and add a paddlecraft beach and public park at the Eastern end of the trail. We were able to acquire using grant funds an additional six acres of land to conserve as green space as part of the waterfront area. Additional planning efforts using Euclid's project as the model are underway at Cuyahoga County and Nuaca. And as we predicted, this project has indeed been a precedent setting project and brought much positive attention to Euclid. 
Our waterfront became a refuge for many residents and visitors looking to enjoy safe outdoor activity during the pandemic. During 2020, the department also implemented various neighborhood upgrades, including benches, planters, garbage cans, flashing beacon crosswalks, siding, painting, and planting of trees. They also laid the groundwork for important community improvements that we will see this year, including the Euclid Avenue Electronic Message Board, new windows at Shore Cultural Center, and new windows at the Senior Center. We saw a record number of land bank sales, setting the foundation for new home construction. 27 lots were sold, which will result in 17 new homes and eight yard expansions. On the staffing side, 2020 saw the retirement of longtime planning and zoning commissioner, Paul Benno, and the resignation of director, Jonathan Holliday, both of whom have made a positive impact in our community. I'm pleased to announce tonight that after a search, I have found the most qualified candidate for director right here at home. I have named Allison Lucasy Love as Planning and Development Director. Through her five years at the City of Euclid, she has demonstrated tremendous professionalism, creativity, and shares our vision for a strong and vibrant Euclid. I look forward to working with her to add new staff to fill out the department and increasing the capacity and effectiveness of our community and economic development efforts. Another highlight of the year comes in the area of building and housing. Cleveland.com recently reported that residential property values across Cuyahoga County have continued to rise and called out Euclid as one of two cities that has seen home values increase nine years in a row, sharing that distinction with the city of Strongsville. Thanks to the increase in land bank sales, 2020 saw an increase in new home construction, and this will continue into this year with many more projects in the pipeline. I wanna thank city council for supporting new construction and development. As we saw at tonight's city council meeting with the new housing development proposed at the former Wilmore site, which will add 11 more new homes. COVID-19 caused people to stay home and many residents took advantage of that time to make improvements in their homes. We saw record improvements to both residential and commercial properties. Residential permits were taken out for more than $10 million in valuation, an increase of $1.7 million from 2019. Commercial permits were taken out for improvements valuing nearly $50 million in valuation. I would like to also acknowledge the major improvements that are underway at Euclid Hill Villa, Brayview Manor, 1200 Babbitt, Rosemary Center, Vista Apartments, and others in the works. These projects represent multi-million dollar investment in our community. I wanna thank the building and housing staff for their hard work. They continue to work in new ways, providing service online and over the phone. The building team began building team meetings to make sure all departments are working together. And this has brought compliments from both inside City Hall and from our customers. They truly understand we all have a role and we are in this together. While our commitment to placemaking and building a strong community remains in place, the approach had to change. Keep You Could Beautiful continued its cleanup and beautification efforts, although through smaller masked events. One highlight was the addition of the community mural on Babbitt Road, designed by Euclid resident Brittany Quinn, painted with the help of Cleveland School of Art students and community volunteers. The mural speaks so well for the year celebrating the diversity and the togetherness of our community. Reading, let's see the you and I in Euclid and do beautiful things. While neighborhood meetings and events were halted, we partnered with the Euclid Observer to bring news into residents' homes, which helped to reduce the isolation that came with COVID. Thanks to the initiative of Councilwoman McIntosh, the city of Euclid signed onto a Power a Clean Future pledge committing to working to reduce carbon emissions and increase our efforts towards a more sustainable future. Forward-looking initiatives, including installing electric vehicle charging stations, converting to LED, improved efficiencies as we upgrade our facilities, and residents may now sign up for a renewable energy option in our electric aggregation program. Small efforts and our ongoing commitment will make a difference as we are in this together. 
Last year was a challenging year for the Recreation Department as the coronavirus calls caused our city to quarantine like the rest of society. We had to shut down our traditional programming and reinvent ways that we offer programs to our residents. Unfortunately, we closed the outdoor pools and could not provide a long-held tradition of outdoor swimming provided by the City of Euclid. It was our goal to operate in a manner that did not jeopardize anyone's health in any way. We were able to operate the CE or Ice Arena, which has included four new local high schools using the arena and limited amount of user groups that has produced the highest revenue in years. Briardale Greens experienced an incredible year of growth in 2020, a surge in golfer demand combined with the right course conditions and adaptability to the situation, ultimately that led to a very successful outcome for the facility. For the year, Briardale saw 30, almost 35,000 rounds of golf and the highest annual earnings since 2010. With council's support, we are looking forward to making much needed improvements to Briardale this year that will support continued growth and success of the course. The pandemic has given the Recreation Department the opportunity to upgrade their registration system and create new programming that will be offered once it is safe to do so. The Recreation Department will offer a mentoring program that ultimately will provide tutoring service, physical activity, and allow young people the opportunity to interact with each other, interact with others as we did prior to the pandemic. They have started the process of creating more community partners that will allow the department to offer more enhanced programming and a better variety of programs to meet the needs of the community at large. The Lakefront Community Center and Euclid Senior Programs closed to the public in March, but the Senior Programs team continued to provide service in many new ways. They expanded home delivered meals and created a drive-through meal program for our senior citizens. They adjusted transport services for local shopping, banking, and doctor's appointments, offered outside and online exercise programs, held a citywide lunch giveaway, initiated wellness telephone checks, and surprised many seniors with care bags at the holiday time. Despite the challenges, Senior Programs was able to serve over 30,000 meals and provided over 2,500 transports. An extensive reopening plan has been developed. When the doors reopen, guests will find automatic temperature check devices, air cleaners, touchless hand sanitizing stations, touchless faucets and soap dispensers, antibacterial chairs, touchless entry with barcoded membership cards, and so much more. The use of masks, social distancing, and reduced class sizes will help to ensure the health and the safety of our senior visitors. Manager Bob Payne and his entire senior program staff are anxiously waiting a safe reopening. Whether serving our youth or our seniors, our success depends on many partners who share our commitment in this together. The service department really took the lead on our COVID response, securing necessary PPE, developing cleaning protocols, signage, taking on remodeling projects, preparing for safe customer facing interactions. In addition to the remodeling projects in court, tax, building and housing, recreation departments, they made other much needed public building improvements, including the locker rooms at the police department, floors and painting and deep cleaning at the senior center, replacing the chillers at the ice arena and cement work at Memorial Pool. They took care of our public property and took on special projects and cleanups ranging from the Euclid Cemetery where they straightened headstones and monuments to Sims Park Beach, where they removed 85 tons of wood. They oversaw total street reconstruction on Monterey, as well as waterline street repaving on Drakefield, 266, 232, and Williams. The Streets and Sewers Department kept busy, providing critical services we all depend upon, like plowing snow using 4,252 tons of salt, picking up leaves, collecting 8,614 yards of leaves that went to compost. And the sewer department responded to 1,241 house calls in 2020. These services too are appreciated by our residents. As an East 260th Street resident shared to service director, Dan Connect, your crews worked tirelessly. They worked together as teams. 
They were always kind, always thoughtful, knowledgeable, and professional. I don't know how to thank you for every single one of these guys. They went above and beyond to be of service. It was a very cold day. They were standing in very high cold water as they worked. I could not be more grateful. I am so thankful for their compassion, their diligence, and their strong work ethic. They are to be commended as it as is this wonderful department that provides such excellent service. Thank you from thank you all from my very grateful heart. Thank you. We are all grateful for their hard work and dedication. In 2020, Euclid was recognized by the county as one of the very few communities who actually increased our tree canopy in the recent survey. This is the result of our long commitment to planting and taking care of trees. I want to recognize Superintendent Chris Grant, who retired in 2020. This recognition is due to years of work and commitment by him and many. In 2020, the service department continued the commitment to protecting and growing our tree canopy by planting 179 trees, trimming 1,279 trees, removing 267 hazardous and storm damaged trees. The wastewater treatment plant improvements continued. 2020 saw the beginning of the conversion to the use of the biomembranes, with the first phase of membranes now in service. The remainder will come online in the next two phases as the rest of the plant is converted. And 2021 will bring substantial completion of this plant project. Again, I thank our service workers for their service to our community and knowing they have an important role in this together. I am proud that we've been able to continue the progress here in Euclid during this difficult year, but I'm even more proud of our ability to adapt to the pandemic, continue to provide critical service and program and keep the momentum going. The focus of 2021 will be three main priorities, safety, infrastructure, and community. These areas are critically important and need attention. We know safety is the critical priority that impacts everything we do. It is at the center of a strong and vibrant community and impacts our ability to attract and retain residents, businesses, and provide a high quality of life. We have seen investment and growth, but as an aging city, we have tremendous needs in maintaining our critical infrastructure like roads, buildings, sewers, parks, and playgrounds. As COVID has shut everything down, we look forward to coming together once again as a vibrant community through activities, events, and resident involvement. As I wrap up, I'm equally excited about the initiatives we have in the works. So a small sample of things to look forward to in 2021 include hiring of more police officers and firefighters, increasing our numbers of first responders, completing the waterfront trail, completing the water reclamation plant project and developing a community inspired plan for the top of the tank. Improving our infrastructure, including the repaving of Euclid Avenue from end to end, the Richmond Road Safety Project, and beginning a $2 million paving program for our side streets. Repairs to Grand Boulevard Wall, completing the Euclid Avenue message board, and seven waterline projects, including East 206, East 216, Fuller Avenue, Goler Avenue, 211, Colburn, and Lakeshore Boulevard in the downtown area. We look forward to new infill houses, new residential development at the Wilmore property, and reviewing proposals for the development at other city-owned parcels. We look forward to the sixth new modern industrial building at Bluestone Business Park and continued business, businesses growth across the city. We look forward to reopening City Hall and getting back to serving our residents in person and through expanded electronic and virtual means. This includes a new partnership with the Regional Income Tax Agency and the Euclid Tax Department to bring added services to our residents while maintaining our local tax services, all helping to improve our income tax collections. We look forward to enhancing our arts, community, and recreational programming, introducing new programs to support residents of all ages at Shore Cultural Center, now managed by the City of Euclid, Lakefront Community Center, recreation facilities, and throughout the community. 
and we look forward to reimagining our public spaces with improvements to our parks, our playground, and our golf course. Of course, all of this depends on all of us, my administration, city council, city employees, businesses, community partners, and residents working together with a common purpose and a shared vision that Euclid is a strong, vibrant community where we all can be proud to live, work, and visit. The challenges of 2020 and COVID-19 touched all of us and on many fronts, from community health, how we provide city service, it, it has impacted our employees, our budget, our daily operations, and these challenges also directly impacted our residents, their families, our businesses, our churches, and our community organizations. While there was stress and uncertainty, even more powerful was the way our community came together in new ways, demonstrating the strength of our community, adaptability, resilience, and the commitment to care for one another. We are reminded about the importance of family, health, and our interdependence. We are all interconnected, a community, and of course, in this together. Again, I am incredibly proud of what we have accomplished and eager to continue the progress. Thank you for putting your trust in me to lead our wonderful community. I am proud to serve and proud to work with each of you. Most importantly, I remain optimistic about the future and committed to working together to make sure you could remain a strong and vibrant community where we all can be proud to live, work, and visit together. Thank you.